Hello and welcome back to this mod pack, uh, let's play, guide thing of the official Hensi Gang mod pack. Um, over, the, over the break I have built a little bit of a house. It's not, not much, it's just, it's a basic standard house so we don't have to live in a dirty hole the rest of our lives. And, um, yeah, um, I was in the process of moving my items over to here when I realized, hey, I can't break my chest without, without all of my items flooding into my inventory. So, I have a little bit of a solution for you. Um, we have a mod called Chest Transporters. And with that, we can make an item that will allow us to, well, transport our chests. So let's do that quick. Um, I probably shouldn't have brought my crafting table into my house quite yet. <laughs> or both of them, rather, because I don't really have one in my cave anymore, so I should probably bring one back. But, um, yeah, so let's make that quick. The chest transporter is just a bunch of sticks in a U-shape like a boat. And a couple pieces and a piece of iron or diamond or whatever you want to use. I'm gonna make mm, I'll make four of them because that's how many chests I have at the moment. So let's do that quick. Now picking up chests is going to give you slowness, uh, jump boost, like issues, and also mining fatigue. So you won't be able to jump up if you place a chest. So let's remedy that by placing a slab instead. Let's let's trudge on over there. These things must be really heavy. And then we shall place them. Uh, let's place them along this wall, shall we? Boom! There we go. Now our chests are moved, and all the the inventories will all stay properly. I also brought my basic basic fluid tanks over here, all filled with creosote. And also we have the ability to make steel tools now because I have actually made a bit of steel over the break. Uh, we have two more blocks in here that are working and this coal oven is doing well also. I'm probably going to move these two machines down to like a basement sort of thing in my new house, but they can stay here for now. And also I found this, uh, this cave up here that's been causing a bit of a problem. There's so many monsters in here. I haven't had the chance to light it up quite yet, so I've just been coming in here and collecting all the ores and just killing monsters that are causing me to not be able to sleep. Alright, so let's go back, place our bed down, and sleep. So we can have our spawn point set. Um, oh, hello, buddy. Old pal, old friend. I'm just going to place it there. So it's nice and centered with the uh, window. And then sleep, set our spawn point. And yes, as you can see, I did die once or twice to a skeleton. Um, <laughs> so that was a fun time. Um, <laughs> yeah, skeletons are no fun to deal with, especially when you don't have armor, and especially when your difficulty is locked into hard. So, yeah. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of what we can do with, um, immersive engineering. So, to get started, what we want to do is we want to take our steel... Put it in our, in our inventory. With that, we have we're gonna make some more steel plates. We'll make six for now. Um, I think we have a bucket in here. Yeah, we have a crystal oil bucket that I got last time. And I'm gonna make a couple more treated planks with that. Um, I'm gonna make a few of them actually. 
it is a it is a whole process. There are better ways of doing this, um, but this is what we have for now. Uh, you can do this with the assembler or whatever it's called. Uh, assembler, yeah, this guy. You can do this with this because I think it can accept fluids. Um. Yeah, fluid input. So yeah, you can use the assembler to make things like that with with it. Um, but yeah. So we want to make a engineer's wire cutters because that will allow us to start making some actual, you know, better things like cables and you know things like that. Also collected a bit more copper over the break because copper is going to be very important in making uh, cables. So let's smelt some of that up quick. Um, I'm just going to smelt up half a stack. So eight for each furnace. I don't want that in there. That's the wrong chest. So eight, for each, eight for each furnace. And also... So one other thing that I wanted to do, and that was make a steel pickaxe. Now, steel pickaxes are actually better than diamond. If you can, if you can guess, if you can guess why, because <laughs> steel is a little bit harder to get than diamond. So we're gonna make that, and with st with a steel pickaxe, we have access to much better materials underground. So we can now mine things like oroclase and uh, and lutetium and um, whatever the other ore is called, um, astral silver, karmat, etc., etc. So and we can't mine ore chalcum yet though, because we need a better pickaxe. That's why we're progressing. So today I wanted to do that a little bit. I wanted to demonstrate how you can get new ores and how you can get the wire cutters and some basic machinery set up. Um, today I also do want to start working on a water wheel, which is our first basic form of power generation. That should be pretty easy to make. I don't think it's going to be that ridiculous. Um, and we have plenty of space out there behind the house to make the water wheel. So. We shouldn't have too much of an issue with that. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this this is a very <laughs> this is a very strange enemy. This is called a goon. He belches disgustingly and spawns silverfish. I don't understand why. It's very weird. And I'm not sure oh I gotta remove that waypoint. It's no fun to have a death waypoint nearby. Oh, oh, also this guy. This guy is a concussion creeper. Um, when he explodes, he will teleport you randomly in a 32 block radius, I believe. And it's no fun, <laughs> because that could mean you get teleported straight into lava. So it's never fun to get, to get uh, into his area of effect. I don't know why I brought those cave roots with. I have jerky with me. Oh well. So let's put away some of this stuff. Um, I did want to smelt up this Karmat. We got copper, so we can just use that. So yeah, smelt up the Karmat. Um, now with our hammer, we can make copper plates. I'll make about ten of them, and then we can make copper wire. Probably want, we probably actually want more of that. We'll get like 12. There you go. And with copper wire, we want to make a couple of these bad boys. Just two for now. Two sets of them. That'll make eight LV wire coils. Then we should be able to make a kinetic, oh, a kinetic dynamo, which is a copper coil block. And 
some other stuff. Let's make a copper coil block quick. We need some iron and redstone. Which we have some more. We should have some more iron here, yeah. So iron on the bottom, redstone, redstone. Copper coil block there, which just makes a kinetic dynamo. So this guy is used in conjunction with the um, the water the water wheel or the wind turbine. But for right now, I want to make a water wheel, which requires four water wheel segments and a piece of steel. So we can make four of those quick. And then we need a steel ingot. That'll make our water wheel. So yeah, this combined with that will make a water wheel that's functional and actually makes power for us. <laughs> I'm also gonna smelt up some sand for glass. Um, Cause I don't need to really make another blast furnace or coke oven quite yet. All right. Now we should be able to get a karma pickaxe. Karma pickaxe is better than steel, but it's not nearly as durable as steel. I'm actually gonna keep my steel one on me then. Um, I'm also gonna repair this bow because I might use that eventually. And some of this stuff I can just throw out because it's not necessary to have. And that should be good. When did I make an iron trap door? Why did I make it? I don't understand why I made this. Okay, I mean, I guess I have it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure why I have it. <laughs> Let's make some windows. I also do want to use this glass for something else. Place some torches as well in here. I don't have any on me for some reason. Because I don't really make any more. That's probably why I couldn't light that cave up, because I didn't have any torches. Would be a good idea. Would be a good idea to have them. I really don't want to have to have torches in the middle here, but I will. Um, even though they look ugly, I'll keep them there. Any, uh, yeah, I'll keep them there. They'll make a quick door. There we go. Quick double door. Oh, I already had doors in here. Never mind. We have those now. All right, so our house is looking looking all right. It's not looking, it's not the most amazing house ever, but it's it's nice and cozy. Um, feels nice to live in. All right, I want to actually use this. Grab some better looking glass. How about that? Look fine. Yeah, I think that looks fine. So let's use this quick. Um, I want to make actually another bucket. So let's do that quick before we do anything. Because I want to make an infinite water source near our house. So let's grab another. Oh, hello. Again, this is a this is another case of thank, <laughs> like thank goodness for the classic combat mod. All right, I'm just gonna place the water wheel here ish. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these things. These are kendrel kegs. They will spawn if you try to dig up dirt with your bare hands or any other tool besides a shovel. They're not nice. They do not take damage. You have to like hit them at least four times for them to even die. So a little bit of a nuisance, but whatever.
Let's get this connect dynamo and the water wheel placed down. Like so. And then the water wheel requires flowing water over the top of it. So to do that, instead of having it spilling over the sides, that's why I made more of this glass. I'm going to do something like this. And surround the top a little bit. I'll just do that to make it look nicer. I'm just going to get on my roof and do this. It's probably easier that way. Might need more glass, actually. Oh my. Didn't expect that. Um, actually, maybe. No, it's not fine. I need more glass. <laughs> All right, let's go get more sand. I think I have maybe some left in here. Yeah, I do. Ten minutes. That should be plenty. I'm just going to split this up between the two furnaces. And then that'll be good. Oh, by the way, this guy. This is called the eye chisel. Um, it's from the chisel mod. You can make it out of a diamond chisel and a piece of redstone and a piece of gold. What this does is you can right click here. And you can put any sort of item that can be chiseled. So like, for example, planks, you can click on and it'll come up with all sorts of designs for planks. Or if you click on a piece of glass, it'll come up with all sorts of designs for glass. Um, things like that. And then if you click on it, show a little preview here of what it would look like placed down in the world. Obviously, it's not going to have connected textures in the preview, but that's just how it is. Dungeon glass. Very nice. Light glass, gray bordered glass, which is what I'm going to be using here. Yeah, all sorts of things that you can make with the eye chisel. Um, oh. Let's just chisel all of them. And then let's continue building around like this. I think we can stop at that location. Um, I don't know if I can make two water wheels. I'm actually going to try that because I haven't tested this before. I wonder if two water wheels will work with one kinetic dynamo. I'm not actually sure. Maybe we'll test that theory. I really hope it does, because that would be awesome. That would be really, really cool. Let's just make a second infinite water source here. I'm going to grab more creosote. So I can test my theory. Let's grab that and that. And then let's make a bunch more sticks. And then a couple more water reel segments. A piece of steel. And again, it's four of these water wheel segments around a piece of steel will make you your water wheel. Okay, I'm going to test this and see if I can place just two side by side. Let's see if that's fancy smancy. No? Are you not accepting this? Darn, I guess not. I guess we can only hold one. That's fine. That's fine. Um, darn, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot glass you can't get back. You can break it, so I have to get more. Now I was hoping that would work, so I wouldn't have to do this, but oh well. I mean, I'd, I guess I'd have to get more anyway to cover that one up, so doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> I probably should have thought that through a bit better, but whatever. Oh well. Sand is sand. Glass is glass. Can't really do much about it. I'm just going to collect a good healthy amount of sand. Probably like a stack. There we 
go. I was also curious about this. I don't know if this is the same one that I've looted before. I think it is. No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, an ender pearl. Constellation papers and iron. It's always a good thing to find in the world. Also cows, they should die. Because cows... You know what? Cows are not creatures that you want in your farm. They moo a lot. And that's about it. Cows are pretty terrible creatures. I don't know if... Uh, it's, it's a little known fact. Um, cows actually kill by family. So, you know, it's a little bit of a piece of trivia for you. Okay, what, what just, what did I just put in there? Oh, the salt. I don't want the salt to go in there. I want to make jerk out of it. Um, I am going to be making better food <laughs> in the future, but for right now, I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit of an, an infrastructure going so I don't have to be dealing with um, slowness for the rest of my life. Okay, so the water wheel is set up. Um, the next thing I want to make is called um, an LV wire connector. I need terracotta for. I think I have a little bit of clay left. Yeah, I do. So let's just make a little bit of terracotta quickly. Also, chisel this back into our gray border panels. Repair this guy. Make him look a bit nicer. Um, yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Alright, and then we want it to flow just into a little pool here. Uh, nothing too fancy, just something right there. And then we will use our water bucket. Um, just a little bit more dirt there so we can jump onto it. Then we want our water bucket here. No, 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 no. That's not working properly. Oh, well, that works, I guess. Um, I probably want to have it farther over here, so I'm going to place another piece of glass right there. So it can move properly. Get the terracotta back copper out and make that thing quick. Our connectors. Also want to make wire relays, which is the same recipe, but they cut down a little bit. So it's just two terracotta and two copper instead of f uh, four and three. Okay, let's get back up here and place this glass back down. go right there should do it and now it should work fine there we go now we got it spread all over the top and now it's spinning a little slightly faster than it was before so that's good so yeah now the water wheel should spin and we should be generating power with the connect dynamo um i think so at least i hope so <laughs> hope it's working properly Now the issue is getting power from out there to inside the house. I haven't really thought that through with this house design because there is a, literally a window right there. But um, yeah, we'll have to think about that. But in the meantime, I want to look into making 
Actually, I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. So the Kinetic Dynamo, have your wire connectors, or yeah, your wire connectors. Place that um, anywhere on the side of it. I'm just going to place it there. And then we have an LV wire relay, which is what is used to transfer the power from place to place. So if I want to transfer power from that thing to here, um, did I not make, oh, I know I didn't. Actually, sleep first because I hear a skeleton outside and I don't want to get killed again. Um, yeah. Let's grab a trade stick, make more of that coil. So, to do this, you do you right click like that and then go there. And as you can see, it'll hang a little wire drooping down. Now, this is dangerous to have exposed wire because what it does is it shocks you so you don't you don't want to have this near where you're going to be walking because that's not a, that that's a safety hazard so to have exposed wire like this is never a fun time but for now we don't need the power but we are just generating it as time goes on so we can just keep it like that Um, our glass is done, so let's just take that back. Then no more gray bordered. Cool, cool. And then eventually we can make a second water mill up there if we do, if we want to. But yeah, for now. Oh, also, I wanted to get back into. That's all the constellation papers. Yeah, I think there's only five. All right. So what I was gonna do also was there was one more thing that I wanted to do, but I can't remember what it was. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to make more steel. I think we have two blocks of it smelting up in the blast furnace. Back in a little hole, a little mining cave. That should be done. Um, our coke oven is also getting close to full. I'm probably just going to dismantle these for now and move them to a better location so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Because um, that's never a fun time. So I'm just going to dismantle these and bring them back home. Then we can move these into like a factory building if I build one of those. Oh, by the way, there's a quest for that, too. So, yeah. And then we should be good. Blast pro. Oh, yeah, we can mine ore chalcum now, too. So that's good. Yeah, karma is but basically the next step. Um, You can use astral silver. You can also use Mithril, and I think you can do Tataroth as well, though all those three things work to mine or Chalcum. But I'm using Karmot right now because that was what I had access to at the moment. Okay, so we have our blast stuff. I'm actually going to make a separate chest for things like that. And I want to upgrade it to iron, and maybe to gold, actually. Let's do that quick. Make a gold chest. And have this be mod storage. So I'm going to place our blast bricks and our coke bricks in there. Cool coke, slag, resonating wand, astral tome, steel, steel plates. Stuff like that. The important stuff. The very important stuff. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, Clean Plate Club. That's another quest for making steel plates. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be using the uh, quest book this time around. Just because I'm basically trying to teach you guys what some of those quest book quests don't 
Um, so yeah, so off with the hammer, the coke bricks, etc., etc., blast bricks, and then steel plates. And then there's also a challenge quest that you can make 256 steel ingots, which gets you diamonds and Damascus steel and stuff like that. It's just a challenge quest for fun. It's not really required for anything. Um, then oil me up as a creosote oil bucket. I'm actually just going to grab that. Just so the quest is done. See? Cool. And then traded wood planks. We have some of those as well. That should complete the quest. And then we get access to the, Nef the Nefgear's workbench quest, which is just this thing. Stuff like that. I don't want to go off into any tangents, but yeah, that's the quest line that I made. It's still work in progress. It's not completely finished yet, but that is going to be finished eventually. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep that in here. Yeah. I'm also going to keep a crafting table in my inventory and take it with me for reasons. Okay, um, I think next time, so yeah, let me, before I get out of, off on that attention, I'm probably going to stop it here because we've made plenty of progress. We've built our little house, we made a wind, we knew had a water mill, we sort of got a bunch of more items, we made the engineer's wire cutters, we, we made cables, we made uh, wire connectors, I don't know why I put them in here. We made connectors, we made um, wire coils, things like that. And yeah, we also upgraded our pickaxe to a Karma one, which allowed us to mine Orange Chalcum, which actually Orange Chalcum and Platinum makes the next best thing. Which I don't know if I can crush that up with this. Test that. Ooh, I can! Okay, cool. That'll make Selenigil. Selenigil is actually the next best thing up from Karmat. Selenigil is one of the best tool materials that you can get. Um, it will allow us to mine Adamantine and Alaris, which are the two main resources. That are in well, they're 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 made. They're used to make um, what is it? Tartarite. So if I look at the, the recipe for tartarite dust, it's at Laris and adamantine. Adamantine is gotten from adamantine ore, which can only be mined by things like selenigil. So that's that's the next step for that. Thunderbolt Sword is really good. It makes you feel. It gives you gives you strength and speed whenever you get a kill. It also deals eight damage, so it's so it's pretty good. So yeah, I think that's where we're gonna stop. Um, next time, I want to get into a little bit of astral sorcery. I think because we have plenty of marble. We have all five constellation papers. We have the resonating wand and the luminous crafting table. All we need to do new now is progress with those items. I think also next time we will start using our power for something better. Um, I'm probably going to be making the, the plate press. Um, where is that at? Metal press, this guy. So we will also be working towards this because that'll make our lives a lot easier trying to make metal plates and stuff and trying to make gears and rods and things like that so that's what we'll be doing next time but for right now i have been uni the developer behind this mod pack or one of them and uh i'll see you next time Bye bye